And we welcome you to the 2022 Heart of America Athletic Conference Women's Volleyball Media Day. I'm your host, Stephen Davis. Right now, we're happy to be joined by first-year head coach at Grandview University, Devin Wells, and senior Riley Olson. Coach Riley, thanks for joining us today. How are you guys doing? Doing well. How about yourself? Doing great here. Coach, you're no stranger to the heart or to Grandview, but it's your first year as the head coach. You take over for Tina Carter. How excited are you for your new role at your alma mater and to get going with actual matches now where folks get to watch you guys? Uh, pretty excited. You know, a lot of different things happening and a lot of things to get used to, but uh, pretty excited about getting in the gym for the last 10 days and really getting after it with our new athletes. So ready or not, here we come. <laughs> Absolutely. You played there at Grandview. You've coached there. You live in Des Moines. How much does Grandview and the community and the city of Des Moines as a whole mean to you and your family? Well, my husband and I met at Grandview, so it's already a good place there. And then he's originally from Des Moines. So Des Moines itself is a great place. And then Grandview, we're just proud alumni and making sure that we're trying to do our part. Coach, go ahead and introduce us to Riley sitting next to you. And uh, what does she mean to your program? Well, this is Riley. <laughs> Hi. I've known Riley since she was pretty little. And uh, her mom and I are pretty good friends. But... Uh, We've known Riley for a long time. She's one of our, you know, one of the four four year recruits and kind of looking to see her leadership role grow in this senior last year for Riley. So I'm pretty stoked to see what she builds with the, her teammates relationships and whatnot. So here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Riley, what's your major? Uh, do you have any career plans yet for after school and after volleyball? Yes, I am majoring in kinesiology, and then I'm graduating after nationals in December, and I'm moving to St. Louis to go to chiropractic school at Logan University. You have things very well planned out, obviously. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> How much does Grandview mean to you, Riley, and what sense of pride do you get when you guys hit the floor uh, and play as a team there, represent the Vikings? Oh, it's so awesome. I think the whole Grandview community, I mean, everyone's pretty much a student athlete here. So everyone kind of feels the Grandview pride, but like in our gym, especially Devin is a Viking for life. So we definitely feed off of her love for the program as well. So coach, we know about the, the rich history and success there at Grandview on the volleyball court. What's it going to take to keep that going now uh, with your name uh, on the door as the head coach? Well, hopefully good things. <laughs> um, well, I'm just trying to kind of figure things out a little bit. Um, you know, with Tina being such a great leader in the past, uh, Makani and I have kind of emphasis on the training aspect. So the training is the easy part these days. It's just the back end of things. So I think the balance of the head coaching role and then kind of interacting with these newcomers and creating that kind of balance with returners and newcomers and hopefully really good things will happen so we continue our success with our program and then continue also having that respect of our opponents as well obviously you want to continue things because it's been at such a high level for such a long time there but I know you want to put your own stamp on the program as well what do you want a team that you're coaching to look like when they're out there on the floor I mean, that's kind of a tough question because Tina did, you know, she recruited me and I went through the program under her and then we kind of put our stamp on things as I was, I mean, I was assistant with Makani for 10 years. So I've been around for a while and I'm not sure what that stamp is. I'm still continuing, you know, our success in what we've done in the past. And then hopefully on along the way, we can build just a little bit, you know, step by step. So. I'm not sure what that is yet. How has your preseason gone so far? What are some things that you've liked that you've seen from the team in practice? You know, we're a little bit more of a smaller squad this year. And I think um, these kids that we brought in are kind of challenging the returners a little bit. And I just think um, the fact of getting after it in practice a little bit more is helping. And then Hopefully our competitive edge gets a little bit higher with the, uh, you know, first week, you know, soreness and all that kind of stuff. So I'm hoping that we keep building in the right direction and then, you know, our returners should set the tone, but I think our newcomers is, are also pushing them to fulfill that role as well. 
Riley, your team's obviously had a lot of success in the heart and nationally. What's the grind like the week in, week out playing in the heart conference uh, against quality competition? It is a grind and we talk about it a lot. Like if we can get down to the basics and figure out our technique and the little tweaks, if we can figure it out now, once we advance into the grind and we get into week four, week five, we'll have that stuff figured out already. And hopefully the solutions come a little bit quicker <laughs> and we can adjust a little bit faster. Um, but yeah, it's just, we got to work through it. Keep working, encourage each other. Coach says she's going to rely on you veterans for leadership. What advice do you have for the, for the younger players, for the newcomers? It is a grind. <laughs> it is takes a toll on your body mentally it's tough too but if you just keep pushing through it and if you need help ask for help we're all here we've all been there and we're here to help you, them through it so if they can lean in and we can lean in a little bit I think we can all help each other out coach other than Riley who are some names that you have back uh, as returners that you are relying on for production and leadership uh our libero Chevy is back and I think she's a very strong point of our uh, returners. And then we have our Taylor Carey. She took her COVID year for um, her last year. She's kind <laughs> of the grandma of the team. <laughs> but, uh, and then we still have our middle, uh, other middle coming back, Sydney Beasley. Um, we did lose quite a bit. So hopefully these um, <laughs> newcomers kind of step into the role with a little dignity and try and not do all of the freshman things <laughs> that would be helpful but yeah I, I, I i'm very confident with our newcomers coming in and trying to fulfill that part of the team that we need them to fill all right then we're wrapping things up we're asking each coach the same final question when somebody says heart women's volleyball to you what comes to mind well i think our conference is building a lot of competitive edge so um it's a grind definitely and i think changing our kind of part of conference tournament. I think every game has got to be tough. So it's one of the top conferences in the country. So coach Riley, good stuff. Thanks for joining us today. Good luck this season. All right. Thank, thank you, you so much.